To join fabric pieces together, we can use either hand or machine stitches. Generally, we stitch by hand to join pieces temporarily in preparation for machine sewing. Sewing by hand is best for invisible stitching of facings, bindings, or hemming. There are also permanent hand stitches, and we do them when we can't use a sewing machine. Sewing always starts with hand stitching. Thread tracing, basting, and many other sewing works are performed by hand. When choosing a needle for hand stitching, consider the thickness of your fabric. The thinner the fabric, the thinner the needle and the thread. You can use a universal needle with wide eye to do temporary hand stitches. It is always a matter of preference when it comes to choosing a needle comfortable to work with. Some seamstresses like long needles while others prefer short ones. It is easier to thread a needle with a wide eye, but on the other hand, such needle will punch a bigger hole in a fabric that may not go away after ironing. Therefore, the needle choice always depends on the particular sewing purpose. Always use a thimble when you need a bit of pressure to push the needle through the fabric. For example, when working with thick materials. My advice to beginners is to do all types of hand and machine stitches on small pieces of cotton fabric. Label each piece and keep them in a separate box. This way you will have a collection of stitch samples that you can go to anytime you need help to choose a correct type of seam for the project. Back in the day when I was a beginner, I had various samples of stitched pockets, collars, ruffles, etc. I must say, they helped me a lot. Over the years, my little collection became kind of a lucky charm for me, and it traveled with me to all the countries where I lived.